Hello and welcome to Miniature Adventures. I'm Big Lee and today I want to talk about terrain building and how we should accept that we're all amateurs. So essentially warfare is about the control of dirt. The resources on it, or that can be grown on it, what you can build on it, where you can get by moving across it. And therefore if you want to explore conflict through war games you need terrain to play across. It's as simple as that. Uh, now I've done several videos about terrain that I've made and I'm no expert, um, you know, very much an amateur in that respect. Um, and uh, I'm, I, I'm always planning new terrain projects um, and always eager to try new technologies. Um, my motto generally is don't waste time reinventing the wheel, still from the best. Uh, so nicking ideas from terrain experts is an essential element to how I go about tackling a terrain project, if, especially if it's something I've never done before. Now, as with other areas of my hobby, my long-term goal basically is to improve the terrain I make, and I want to improve the basing of my miniatures. Um, you know, a well-dressed base will enhance a figure. Um, and whether on display for gaming or uh, whether it's in a display cabinet, it's still true. You know, a, 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 a nicely terrain-built-up base looks really good on a miniature. Now, I'm I'm not an expert painter. I'm not an expert modeler. I'm not an expert terrain maker. I've said that. Uh, but I am always striving to improve. Uh, you know, I've collected several books that I, I'd like to recommend, and, and again, not a uh, the, none of these are sponsored. Uh, the, there's, this isn't an exhaustive list by any any means. These are just a couple of the uh, many terrain books that I picked up that I thought I really liked for one reason or another, and I just thought I'd have a chat with you about some of those from my library. But before I review some of those books, it's worth mentioning the bad old days. Back in the beginning, I found some old figures of mine from way back when I was just role playing and I was first painting figures. And basically, my basing consisted of just painting the base green, um, uh, uh, or indeed leaving the base unpainted so you'd get the the metal or the plastic base without anything on it which is just you know i, I couldn't do that these days uh, entire armies got this terrible green paint treatment um uh, the height of sophistication at back then was using oregano as a scatter um or to, to stick to the surface um nowadays of course i use dried recycled tea leaves of course um Lots of groundwork uh, material is available online and of course I buy lots of it and I try to put more uh, terrain features and, and grass and scatter and so on but on bases but also to use on terrain pieces that I make. Um, uh, you know, I've made a lot of terrain over the years, a lot of it has some of it, it, usually I'm doing it to save money, it has to be said, um, and it's an enjoyable pursuit in its own right, and you can produce custom terrain for a particular project, and you know it's all going to be the same. It's not like when you go to a show, and you go, well, it's a nice piece of terrain, you buy it, but it doesn't go with anything else. Um, so you need to buy enough to cover the whole table and have all your different permutations um, calculated for years to come. And of course, you never end up buying all the pieces that you need, and so you end up getting terrain uh, you know perhaps hills or something like that where they're made differently making it yourself means you can do all of that and you can use the same formula if you need to make another batch later on but i've no illusions about my skill levels here there's still massive room for improvement so i'm going to make a few recommendations here books that are in my collection this is like i said before this is no by no means a, an exhaustive list there are bound to be others and i'd love to hear your recommendations in the comments um, but this is my latest acquisition, uh, Train Essentials by Mel Bowes, aka The Train Tutor. Um, absolutely fantastic. I got it as part of the Kickstarter and, uh, you know, as usual, I don't read anything cover to cover, but I've been dipping into it and getting ideas and it's just fantastic. Loads of illustrations, 190 pages packed with modelling projects and tips, hundreds and hundreds of photos um, and very inspiring terrain. So, you know, if you can get a copy of this, it's well worth it. Um, uh, I've got a few on, online digital extras being a, following the back as, as a Kickstarter. So there's a, some extra stuff that I've enjoyed. But this book on its own is, is well worth it. Um, so, you yeah, know, worth getting. Um, lots of detailed information about tools and equipment, uh, products, techniques. Great for beginners and experts alike, I think. So, you know, highly, highly recommended. And then another book that I bought, I think I got this in a, on a, a bring and buy stall, um, 
Osprey's Masterclass Terrain Modeling uh, by Richard Widrow. Um, again, a, a different level, you know, sort of like, um, very much aimed at the uh, model builder, so hyper realistic terrain, but some really good old ideas in here. This is a bit of an, it's quite an old copy, this is one uh, published 2001, um, uh, but it's illustra fully illustrated, 200 photographs in it, written by a master of diorama modelling. Um, many of the techniques in here are suitable for the, the war gamer. Um, well worth having a look at and a gander through. I mean, honestly, some of the, tr the dioramas featured in here are mind blowing, but there's always ideas. You go, you know what, I can apply that to war gaming bases or uh, my war gaming terrain. Um, uh, well, maybe you're a modeler as well, so you know, well worth getting. If you can get a copy of that, um, you can probably buy a copy on you know, well, Amazon or something like that through one of their third party sellers, so well worth getting if you can. Now, I've got another strange recommendation here, and this is pro a book that's primarily aimed at railway modelers, but I think it's a really good primer if you're new to the hobby and new to train building and you want to know what sort of products are available. Um, Woodland Scenics do a uh, scenery manual, it's sort of part catalogue, part guide, um, uh, but I found it really useful actually. You know, I come across products in there I've never heard of before because they're aimed primarily at model railroad builders, um, and it gave me some ideas. And I've tried some, some have worked, some haven't. Um, but yeah, actually, really interesting. There's there's pages with you know techniques and, and nice illustrations, but at the back you've got um, you know, lists of. Uh, actual products that they make. Now obviously you don't have to just buy Woodland Scenics but it's I found it quite helpful actually because as I say it introduced me to products I didn't know existed. Um, so a actually I, 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 I would recommend this if you're getting new into model building um, if only to give you a broader idea of what products out there are available. And then there's a series of books by a, a fellow blogger Tony Harwood. Um, uh, I got one of these, uh, so this is his uh, Building War Games Terrain. Uh, frankly, a master of using foam and sculpting with it. Um, uh, he's done several books, they're all really, really good. Um, uh, excellent projects. He'll give you, like, he'll show you a photograph of a, a, a particular project um, and then basically talk through how he's built it. So, you know, you'll have uh, uh, bit step by step on how to build a, a, a small building for instance how to make the foam bricks um, it's really quite detailed so that you can try and replicate what he's made but also just having a flick through it you you'll get ideas for how to use those techniques in another train building and I've done a lot of foam building in the last few years um, and taking a lot of inspiration from this book. It's not just foam, it uses all sorts of materials, so there's quite detailed buildings there. Um, uh, I think they're a really good and interesting selection of books, so well worth getting, um, if you can. Um, they're usually available you know, from, uh, like I say, again, third party sellers on Amazon and so on. Um, well worth looking out for. I, I quite enjoy these. They're, like I say, they're just really useful. And I found them particularly useful recently in the last few years because I've been doing a lot of terrain foam building. Of course, there are loads more terrain books out there. This is just a selection of the handful that I have. Um, uh, but I would definitely recommend getting your hands on some terrain books and giving them a try. There's lots of techniques in there and ideas that are well worth the idea. And if you're new to the hobby or new to modelling, as I've said before, you know, nick some ideas from people who've done it, um, learn from them. Really good books. Um, and I'd love to hear your recommendations in the comments below because I'm sure you know if you you, you highlight a book and ban, I end up buying something. Um, yeah, but also don't forget to to look on blogs. And you often have how-to tutorials, and of course YouTube. There's some brilliant stuff on YouTube. Um, you know, check out uh, the aforementioned Terrain Tutor, but also people like Geek Gaming Scenics and Black Magic Craft, both excellent sites with some really good projects on there. Um, and very personable presenters as well, so you'll quite enjoy them. If you ain't already following them, check them out and, and see if you can follow them and subscribe to their channels. As I want to end by saying, uh, one thing that I have learned by doing any train building project, big or small, is sort out your workspace first. If you have a, a workshop, great, keep it tidy. Uh, but if not, be prepared for a mess 
and plan for it. Uh, black bin bags and masking tape are essential items, particularly when you're working with foam and things like that. Um, you know, I, I often tape them all over everything so that I can just wrap it, roll everything up at the end of the day uh, and throw it all in the bin. And, and, and it keeps a lot of the mess on there. Um, I also have a, a small mini hoover up here in, in my games room for tidying up the desk when I've got shavings of foam or whatever it might be. Um, really useful to have. Um, but certainly just laying down sheets to uh, you know, whatever you've got. I use bin bags, but you could use proper decorating sheet or something like that. Um, highly recommended because it just keeps everything else clean and tidy. So as always, I just wanted to end by saying, please join the conversation, leave your comments, leave your recommendations. I'd love to check out some of your recommendations for terrain building books. Uh, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and share. And if you want to keep up to date with weekly content, please hit the bell notification icon. So until next week, stay safe, keep gaming, and of course, keep rolling high.